And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Cheap Ludes, and I'm here to open some packs so you don't have to. We got the new season rewind packs in NBA 2K21 My Team. Looks like this one is focused on the Rockets, Pistons, and Magic. You know, I said that I didn't want rewind packs back, but if this is the format that they're gonna bring the rewind packs in, um, I'm not too upset by it. This is pretty cool, I guess. We got like a slew of new cards in addition to they put some old cards from those three teams in there like James Harden and Grant Hill. And I think there's a T-Mac in the mix. Is it Invincible T-Mac? That would be ideal. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. No. Yeah, no, it's just regular radioactive T-Mac. Still a good card in this game though. Kevin Porter Jr. Penny's back. Just Sean Tate. Let's go. Sadiq Bay. Josh Jackson. We got Inferno T-Mac back in the mix. He should be really cheap. I gotta say, I like these packs. Hito Turkaloo. Shout out to you, Kenny Martin Jr., Michael Carter Williams, Pink Diamond. Oh, I need Michael Carter Williams, dude. If I don't open them in packs, I'm definitely going to buy them. MCW is my boy. I was such an MCW stand when he came out in the league. Oh, my word. Okay. <clears throat> Lude's luck is officially back. No way. <laughs> Please be John Wall. <laughs> all right first pack in here we go what do we got not john wall okay so it's either wendell or uh looks like it is jeremy grant i think okay yeah you know what that's fine dark matters first pack i'm cool with it maybe this is a sign of good things to come i don't think so don't judge this pack opening um or like this specific pack don't think this is what your pack opening is going to be like because it probably won't uh, I just got super lucky. Looks like he's got Jump Shot 62, which is like Bam at a bio and Lionel Simmons release. MP Okay, I like this release a lot, especially on Very Quick. This is going to be a good one. He might be a pretty usable card. I mean, he's a little slow. Not really. I mean, 93 speed with ball is fine. Bye, James Borrego. I'm sorry. Hey, it looks like a pretty okay card. Hopefully, he's still going for over 100K by the end of today. I don't think he'll be a buy it now, Dark Matter, because I just don't think that many people are going to open these packs, all things considered. Um, I think the majority of people are going to watch other people open these packs aside from opening themselves, because 2K did that thing. Oh, Nerlens Noel. We need a new Nerlens card. I'm really hoping we get one in, like, the Knicks set. Um, yeah, because 2K did that thing where they're 15750 uh, for packs instead of just a flat 15000 MT. Uh, for what reason? I'm not entirely sure. It's just to kind of... Oh, there we go. We got an Opal. Please. Wait, who are the Opals again? Yeah, Josh Jackson would be cool. He was fun earlier this year. Uh, Who is this? Is it Deshaun Tate? Okay. Yeah, Deshaun Tate. Let's go. He's six foot four and plays power forward. That's what I'm talking about. That's definitely a guy I'm going to use on my main team. I might, if I end up doing a uh, smallest player at every position team at some point, which could legitimately happen, um... Deshaun Tate's a pretty good candidate to play the power forward. Six foot four is pretty small. He's smaller than Keldon Johnson, so that's fine. Muggsy Bogues is definitely playing center, though. No question about it. He's so slow, he can't get any rebounds. It's about to be an uphill battle for me when I do this. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't really complain about the pack luck at this point. Like, I pulled a Dark Matter and an Opal in the first three packs, so whatever happens from this point forward, it happens. You know, obviously, at the end, I will answer the eternal question, should you open these packs, which is probably no, all things considered. Um, but, you know, I won't know till we get to that point. Looks like these packs are only available for today, which is interesting. I wonder what they're going to do for tomorrow, because I believe the super packs, which shout out to everybody who was confused why I didn't do a pack opening yesterday. It's because you guys really want to see me do an idols super pack opening. There's four dark matter, five dark matters in there, none of which I want. <laughs> and I have Blake Griffin, so I'm sorry. Like, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to spend VC on that. I didn't want to encourage 2K to do more shit like that by spending anything on that. So the odds are 32% or whatever. I mean, I don't really even pay attention to the odds anymore. Even when they say 100%, it's not good. So it doesn't really matter, I suppose. If you guys are noticing, my voice sounds a little weird. I've been a little under the weather. I don't really know what's going on, to be completely honest, but it is what it is. I'm living. All right, so we'll put some contracts on them. I really wish they were just 15,000 flat. Um, I feel like that 750 like really adds up after a while, and it's just kind of pointless. 
I generally do not know why 2K de does that. I mean, I have a sneaking suspicion it, it is due to making sure you're not spending even in numbers of like MT or VC um, to encourage the spending of more money on currency, but that's just a, you know, hypothesis. I don't know if that's real or not. I feel like it's not totally out of the realm of possibility, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I am kind of excited for this uh, pack concept, though. Like, I I'm stoked to be getting all these random cards from these teams. Like, it's it's kind of cool. Um, I'm just thinking about the Bulls one, and I'm really hoping we get a Pink Diamond Tomas Sadoransky. <laughs> that would be ideal for me. Or Ryan Arcinado. Was it Arky Diakno? I Dude, I have never... I'm not good at pronouncing names, especially when I'm like under the weather. And in general, I'm not good at pronouncing names. So, you know what I'm saying? I just want the two random um, Europeans from the Bulls. How about that? Does that, that work? Is that easier? I We just got a Kobe White, so I don't really need that. I do not want Vucevic, though. Do not give me Vuce. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't even want him on my team in real life. But I'm excited to see. Wait. Is this the time that we can get a Jalen LeCue? Can we get a Jalen LeCue, please? Suns or Pacers, just throw them in there. It doesn't matter. Give me my boy Jalen. Dude, if we get a Jalen LeCue card due to these rewind sets, I honestly, I will not talk recklessly about 2K for a week. I, I don't care. Just give me a Jalen LeCue. Pink diamond or above, please. Oh, if I get a pink diamond Jalen LeCue, I'll be using him as my starting point guard for at least a little while. All right, pack, uh, pack luck has dried up quite a bit, but, uh, you know, that is to be expected. When you start off the way I did, you're going to get a lot of rubies and stuff at that point. You know I'm going to sell them all back for 900 MT. I'm making that 20 MT I get after the 10%. I hate the 10%. I really do. It's like the most despicable thing. It's just frustrating. I do get why they do it, but it is annoying when it comes to lower tier cards. Like, it's really annoying. Like, Carl Anthony Towns looks like he's farting. All right, that was terrible. That was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. Anyways, how many packs can I open? I don't really want to go below 800K. I had 2 million like two days ago. Oh, I got enough. I can open like six more. Something of that of that nature. Yeah, about six more. Give me something good, dude. That is not what I, I did not mean Jim Boylan. Also, what happened to the, the whole coach thing you guys were uh, adding this year at 2K? Like, we got... Popovich and that Phil and that's that's it you weren't gonna add any more coaches like not even updated versions of current coaches like nothing sometimes I think a lot of what we've seen this year in my team is just them testing stuff out for 2k22 and beyond um, that's kind of how I feel about it like the coaches thing and a bunch of the stuff we've gotten this year the limited time cards stuff like that like they're just kind of testing stuff out throwing it at the wall seeing what works and they're going to implement that stuff into 2k22 and beyond so i don't know it is what it is yeah the pack luck is definitely dried up if you think for a second clay thompson remember in season one when i told everyone to buy clay thompson's because he was going to get an xp challenge and then he never did because 2k hates me i i remember pepperidge farm remembers oh <sighs> the pack odds not doing me justice towards the end here but it's all good i i'm only gonna open like probably four more so hopefully i strike it rich in these four uh does john wall have a dice tattooed on his arm fantastic i think it's technically a die but you know what i mean i got a pink diamond okay who are the pink diamonds i don't even remember michael carter williams right let it be please i don't know if this is him yes yes Let's go. I'm more excited about Michael Carter Williams than I am about pulling Jeremy Grant. No question about it. Look at my man. He looks significantly more like Jason Tatum than I thought he did. Anyways, he's got like a weird blend of uh, Jason Tatum and Michael B. Jordan, but not in a good way. Does that make sense? I was the biggest Michael Carter Williams fan when he was a rookie for the Philadelphia 76ers. I thought this dude was about to be Magic Johnson 2.0. I hyped him so hard. All my friends still make fun of me to this day because of how hyped I was on MCW. Also, do you guys remember Michael Carter Williams' mom? Dude, she used to just bully him so hard for no reason. <laughs> it was toxic. I think that's like the first Ruby card in a while that I didn't have. 
Yeah, I don't think I had DeMar DeRozan. That's crazy. Wow. I really wish the player art was uh, this bad for every card coming up. I don't know what they did with current Series 3. It was just... They must have, like, outsourced that one. Got Drew Holiday. RIP the Bucks, man. They're really looking um, horrendous. Well, they're not really looking horrendous as the Nets just, like, refuse to miss jump shots. It, it's unfortunate. <sighs> I hate the Nets so much. I just, like, don't want them to win. I really don't care who wins, just not them. Well, and the Hawks. I really do not want the Hawks to win either. I think Hawks Nets in the conference final would be my night be my nightmare. Realistically, it would be the worst possible outcome for me. It'd be so bad. I just don't want to see that. I hate Trey Young. I hate all three stars on the Nets. I despise them. Kyrie is probably a cool person to hang out with because he's all weird and woke or whatever. But uh, as a basketball player, I just just I despise him. He wins too much. I don't like him. Though he'd probably be cool to trip on psychedelics with. Or he wouldn't. I don't know. He might ruin the whole vibe. I'm not really sure. That one's a tough call. Alright. Last pack. Give me something good. Or just let me open it in general. That'd be cool, right? Uh, Yeah, no. I got Mike D'Antoni. You know, I've never pulled this card all year. I had to buy him before. I spent 100 k on that card at the beginning of the year. You know what? I don't regret it, though. That probably helped me through so many limited weeks, just having that Mike D'Antoni. Yeah, he probably still sells for a decent portion, too, so I should go check that out. All right, last pack. I got a diamond. It's either Mo Bamba or my boy Robert Reed. You know what? They did Robert Reed. They did right by him this year. They made him, like, pretty good. Robert Reed's nice. Like, he's surprisingly good. Him and... uh Taylor Horton Tucker came out around the same time and they were both like relatively good very similar in play style very very solid cards if we get a dark matter Taylor Horton Tucker I'll be so stoked (laughs) like Damian Lillard seems to be the winner as of right now he is winning the uh rings or trials of champions or whatever thing I don't really know what card we're gonna get from that but I'm not stoked about it either way let's look at how many of these cards are up on the market start with Jeremy Grant because I pulled him there's four okay (laughs) <laughs> okay there's about six john walls all right not a good sign a bunch of wendell carter juniors so either he's the easiest to pull or people are putting him up because they know he's going to be the most sought after i'm not sure a lot of xp for these cards if you do end up getting any um you can get some good amount of xp for him wouldn't be a bad idea to go buy guys like michael carter williams some of the pink diamonds for some quick xp then we got the free cards we got kelly olnick yeah, these are basically all the same. 15 blocks and 15 steals with Rockets players. Oh, they're the same for all five. I don't think I'm going to get any of these cards. Like, I truly do not want them. Eh, it is what it is. As always, it's been your boy Cheap Lutes. Thanks for watching the pack opening and hearing my raspy voice because I am sick. Uh, check the description for all my stuff, and I will be back with more content later. I hope you guys have a good day, man. Peace out. I'll be playing MLB.